Hey everyone, Zephyr here with new IGM Let's Try. Today we've got Dungeon Hearts, which just came out this past week, actually, I believe, and is $3. Cheap as hell. But it is a puzzle kind of action RPG. Just in how it looks, though. It's a puzzle game, and I will show you what I mean. You have characters, and they have levels, and they have special abilities. But what you do in game is all puzzle. You don't actually have a use of your special abilities until you get to the levels on those stars. But we'll get to that once we get there. The diamonds are your chargers, your essentially attacks, and the circles are the ones that you combine to turn into the chargers. You can set them up to set off combos, or you can just use them individually. Do whatever you like. Every time you set off a charger, it damages the enemy. And these, the skulls, are the enemy chargers. If those go, if those get all the way to the left side of the screen, they damage you. They damage whichever of your characters is on the road that they go off on. So it starts off really slow and simple. You just kind of move stuff around. There's only a charger, an enemy attack every once in a while. Not a big problem at all. But it definitely picks up the pace. Let's see if I can knock this guy out real quick. See how many combos I can get set off, actually. Just for the fun of it. Like so. And that took care of the enemy. The, high, the more, more, more combos you put together, and the more of your, of your members you used in that combo, the higher the damage goes. This is where you get your levels from. You combine the stars, and it gives a level to the character that's that color. It's easy right now, again, but it scales up in difficulty very quickly. It, all of the spots are full, so it's kind of moving, moving stuff around like those old tile sliding games. It gets difficult. It gets very interesting. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and we'll check out some of the higher stages. Alright, and now we're starting to get into the little more interesting stuff. You can see the some of the skulls, the enemy attacks, have colors around them. They're essentially guarded. They're blocked. You have to hit them twice in order to break them. That was so not what I meant to do. I'm about to hit something fierce. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> they, you can move anything on the board around except for the squares. The squares are the new blocks that, well, are immobile. You can't do anything with them except break them. Or ignore them. Whichever works best. There's also some runes that pop up occasionally, though I don't see them in this stage. They're still kind of making their way in, but they do different stuff to you. If they get all the way to the end, there's life drain, poison, any pretty much anything and everything. Weakens, all sorts of stuff. And again, the more different colors you set off at once, the more damage you do, which can make battles go a lot faster. And if you drag a battle out for too long, it's not exactly hard to get overwhelmed. I can't even imagine hard mode. <laughs> but again, part of the problem I have was just dealing with controls. They're very simple. It's just a one click for everything. But that's not always the best thing. It's actually a, probably a better game, better a game better suited to the iPads, which it is also on. It is also a very much an iOS game. The PC is their newest release, I think. Although they might have simultaneously released. Alright, see if we get any runes in this one. There's boss battles in this game, and mini-bosses. But they're not really much different than the rest. More difficult, probably. The enemies look cooler. But they do the same. The game is the same, regardless. You put combinations together, you set them off. You try not to die. Sometimes that is the more dif most difficult part. The big issue that I have, just a style type thing, is I try to keep multiple stuff on the screen at the, same, at the same time. You know, drag them forward from the left and hold on to them until they're most useful. Which often ends up not being the greatest tactic in the world. So there's definitely a learning curve. Alright, we're going to finish this one off and see what kind of stuff we can combine it with. Oh, here we go. That does it. See, if you get a big, massive combo like that, that was like the only time I hit him that battle. Well, okay, no, I hit him a couple of other times, but just weak little stuff. 
And this part, still doing fairly, still going fairly simply. Oh, I wish you could slide two at once. <laughs> That'd make things more simpler too. Because I clicked the wrong one. And then I just have to sit there and watch those last rows go by because I know I can't do anything about them. Alright, let's see if we can get to the boss now. Here we go, the sub-boss. Mini-boss, I think. Wow, big ol' empty spot. Now you do have to remember, your ab special abilities are sometimes worth a lot more than just what they are on the surface. Get these up here and I'll show you what I mean, because I gotta set these off. Ooh, if you get in trouble... Ooh, like that. You hit that and it wipes the entire row. Of course, then you have to wait for it to, to soar back up again. But, yeah. That one, I believe, this one is a heal. You just kind of spam those things and it heals them. Oh, except I should have been focusing on one guy because he was the only, he was the only one hurt. Oh, this is bad. Talk about a bad setup. Oh, crap. This one, you're swiping and trying to hit that thing. But you can't just click on it. You have to actually swipe the mouse. Which makes things more complicated. All of the all of the special abilities have a mechanic behind them. Oh crap! Slow down. That are, that make them more involved to use than just a simple click, click and done. I did at least weaken the boss. That's with the the green um, character, the archer. Even if you only hit him once. It still weakens them so that their attacks will do less damage to you now than when you get hit. Now I want to point one thing out. This, the menu screen here, if you hit main menu, you go back to the main menu and everything you've done is cleared. It's just completely wiped. Hit save and exit, and that's fine, you know, you pick back up right where you were next time and you continue going on. And if you ever want to wipe your data, you hit main menu. You just have to make sure to hit save and exit. When you, if, you, if you actually want to keep doing what you've been doing. I didn't actually know how to clear data for a while. And it was not so great because, well, I don't <laughs> do so well once you get up to the higher stages. And it's nice to be able to go back and get some practice in. Crap. And do it all again. Ah, did not mean to double click that. And he hit me. Your energy bars for each of the characters fill up just as you go, and there's nothing here for me to hit. There we go. So you just have to keep, if you keep using one color, it keeps filling up that person's energy bar. So there's that at least, if you like one particular person's ability, or if you need a good heal, then you just keep hitting them. Like I just, the red for some reason I think stands out to me, so I hit him the, I hit that one the most. Or maybe it's just I feel like it appears the most, I don't know. Oh these skulls, they're everywhere. Oop, not that way, crap. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Yep, forget it. And ow. <laughs> Alright. Almost have my red ability back up. Nice little lifesaver is what that is. I don't know how much damage it does, but it keeps me out of trouble. Too many blocks, I can't move them. <laughs> Alright, oh no, I can't move that one either. Yeah, no, forget it. I'm focusing too much on that, and he just hit me three times. Forget it. If all those fails, maybe this will even kill him. It would be nice to have an energy on an enemy's life bar, just to know how far along you are. Sadly, no such luck. Not currently, at least. The dev does have... Well, at least a forum, at least a forum thread on Steam, talking about things that he'd like to either update for this version or potentially for a Dungeon Hearts 2, which is apparently already, already in in the work, in planning at least, if not in production. So 
so very many blocks. <laughs> Whoops. Unfortunately, with my little one-shots that I'm doing here, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to him. Which is making this take a lot longer than it might otherwise. Ooh! My healer's almost dead, too. See, but you focus on one person, and you can just about heal them all the way back up. Another thing with bosses, as you might expect, he seems to have quite a bit of health. Alright. I don't have time to combine anything up, though. Man. Slow it down. You see all these attacks? Stuff gets crazy. Forget it. Get rid of it. No, I can't. Like oh, you can't do. Ow! He just killed one of my guys. So you can't use two attacks at once. If you've already got the uh, like the slow, like I had going on, I couldn't use my other one. It feels fast too. I don't know if that's just kind of because everything's going going hectic for me, or if it's actually moving faster. But it's. This is not going well. Let's see if I can at least finish him off before we're done here. Unfortunately, when he attacks, he also wipes the blocks that you, well, might be able to make use of. I'm so running out of moves here. I'm down to two characters. I wonder, if, if those are on top, does it hit anybody? Yes, it hits the person highest. So that's not helpful. All of the blocks are breaking too, which is interesting. Alright. And having the armored stuff is not <laughs> working out. Not what I meant to hit. Oh, done. And that's how you lose a battle with the Tide Hunter. I believe this is what he was called. It also, well, that's the end of it. You know, you keep you keep playing the game, and you keep going until you die. I presume there there is actually an end game though. You can beat the game and do it again. And when you beat the game, you unlock different soundtracks for it. So it gives you something a little something to work towards. Like, see there's five different soundtracks. You start with one and you open the others. There's even a colorblind mode. That's I leave it on, even though the colors in this game are really distinct. But that's what the lines through some of the orbs were for. It's supposed to distinguish. Anyway, that is a first look at Dungeon Hearts. Puzzle game, definitely worth a try. If you like puzzle games and are good at them, give it a go. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I will catch you all next time. Take care. See you later.